Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Yahleal in this incarnation. Today, I wanted to leave this little reflection linked with the middle point between eclipses. We are still experiencing the energy of the last event and going towards the next. Um, so we are in a moment where we are revaluating uh, the what keeps us in certain relationships and from with, which places we are choosing those relationships. In fact, this is very linked with both energies. Uh, the energy of Libra is linked with choices and the energy of Aries is linked with the decisions that uh, we need to make in order to move forward. So uh, Libra Eclipse came to re remove uh, veils and masks in the sense that the core of relationships uh, cannot be the convenience of covering voids, cannot be sustained in, in the fear of being alone, uh, cannot be um, uh, sustained in the lack of reciprocity too, because reciprocity is not something that we force. Reciprocity is something that flows when the parts feel in alignment with their soul to give and to receive. And when we perceive internally that we don't have to do something for someone and we, um, you know, uh, respond to that coherence, to that loving coherence of the soul, we are also giving. We are giving a space for the other to grow. We are giving a space for the other to move in their individuality, discovering themselves and understanding what uh, they need to give to themselves too. And the same way occurs when we don't feel in alignment to receive something. Uh, we are also creating balance that way because this is very important to recognize, in fact, because not, don't, not everything that is offered, that is being offered to us, it is necessarily something that we need to accept. I mean, receiving, receiving help that we don't need is also an act of the disconnected ego. Um, and probably the other person is also not offering that in alignment with their soul. So that's why this inner listen, listening, you know, listening to ourselves is very, very important. And we develop this like knowing ourselves in the path itself. So um, on one side, we are with this uh, in this cleansing the, of of. Um, relational distortions and on the other side we are being pushed <laughs> to take decisions and to take action and uh, there is no much uh, space for doubt with the energy of Aries. Um, we are very close to Mercury retrograde that is a period of, of uh, review but with the energy of Mars in Pisces and Saturn it is very important to hear what our soul is telling us because I think we, many of us, are, uh, we are already receiving uh, like this call to to make big decisions, and these things that we are feel called to do, uh, we could feel that they are great responsibilities, or that they they require a great effort, or or that they are decisions that require to restrict ourselves in a certain way, in in favor of creating growth in the long term. This could be could be also linked with this uh, transit of Mars and Saturn. So, um, as always, these events are not <laughs> cannot be controlled. Uh, are these are periods where um, uh, shells of the ego are taken from us, and presence and focus in what is really possible in the here and now is the is the way to continue step by step. I think this is the the best way to continue, and to to keep trusting that this practice of coherence with our own consciousness uh, well turns us in in active uh, participants I, I don't know if that's the word of the community one we want to create on the earth so i just wanted to leave this reflection today thank you everyone and see you in the next video ciao ciao